and some of the comments stuck out to me and they were negative so i said i'm gonna block some so i started blocking it but then i seen why it went viral and it was because hey family i hope y'all are having a great back to school shopping experience i've been dropping these one-on-ones to show y'all how i've been navigating back to school uh back to school rush is typically stressful for parents we procrastinate some can't get off of work in time to school shop some are letting their kids handle it on their own and coming home and they don't even have nothing they need and so you still gotta go back out but i show you how i navigated being a mom who has six kids going into high school junior high and elementary can i say it was easy no can i say we are done no <laughs> but we are finding fun in the light in the journey but i'm coming on here because i do want to touch on something because back to school ready means having these talks with your children that goes along the lines of adversity that can arise in our children so sometimes life has a way of sending messages in the most unexpected ways recently i posted a simple video of my firstborn treating me at the 99 cent store and let me just say this it ain't the 99 cent store no more. They got stuff for $5.49. They got stuff for $9.99. It's a regular store now. But anyways, he treated me at the 99 cent store after we got done cleaning out the previous house. And it went viral. I woke up one morning and comments were just bing, 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 bing. But I was sick. I was under the weather, most of you know. So I really didn't pay attention to it. I said I'll tackle it when I get there. And a lot, um, and some of the comments stuck out to me and they were negative. So I said, I'm going to block some. So I started blocking it. But then I seen why it went viral. And it was because of a pregnancy that appeared in the video. The reason why I thought it probably went viral wasn't even the reason at all. And I want to touch on it a little bit. So in the background, a commenter noticed a young pregnant woman. And to be honest, I didn't even notice it. TT was recording for me because I just thought about doing that in that moment because I was about to pay. And as he said, I got it, mama. I said, ooh, TT, capture it. So she did. And I asked TT when I saw the comments. I said, TT, did you know that it was a pregnant person behind us? And she said, yeah. I said, did you? I said, what you think? And she said, ain't, no, ain't my business. You know, so she saw it when she was recorded because she's at a different angle than I was. But I didn't see it at all, you know, especially with Anthony to the right of me. He ain't no small dude. Ew. This obviously struck a chord with many people in the comments, sparking a conversation that goes far beyond a firstborn treating his mama. It's about breaking generational cycles, which I know this page is full of. So this message is for all of us especially parents. My journey is one of many where the cycle of young pregnancies continues. I was just 17 when I became pregnant with my firstborn, you know, the same one you see in the video. My mother was even younger. She was only 15 when she had my older brother. This cycle isn't unique to just my family. It's honestly a reality that persists for many in 2024 and beyond. But this post isn't just about young pregnancies. It's about the broader picture of what it means to be aware and conscious as parents. Our youth face hard questions, difficult choices, and pressures that many of us might not fully understand or scared to attack because we ourselves endured abuse in that area and very uncomfortable with those hard conversations. Often our kids are afraid to come to us as parents in fear of judgment, disappointment, so they turn to others for guidance, and sometimes they get led down paths they're not prepared to navigate alone. That young pregnant woman in the background of my video represents so many young girls today. But what stood out to me was not just her presence, but the fact that she wasn't alone. She was with someone who stood by her side, acknowledging her, pregnant or not, she was comfortable in her body. She wasn't trying to hide. That speaks volumes. That speaks support, love that's unconditional. This mother could have easily turned her back or the people in her lives could have easily turned their back on her. But instead, that person next to her chose to support her through what is likely one of the most challenging times in her life. Support doesn't mean condoning every decision our children make, but it does mean standing by them offering guidance and helping them through the difficulties that they face. It's about creating a nurturing, positive environment when they feel safe to ask those hard questions and receive the support they need. So whether this video showcases a firstborn giving back to his mama or a mother standing by her daughter, the message remains clear. It's crucial to support our children 
no matter what life throws at them. In doing so, we can help break these generational cycles that I show up for every day and give our youth the foundation they need to build a better future. So on that note, go have them hard conversations with your children. Enjoy your back to school shopping. Be grateful and thankful that your kid allow you to be a part of their lives. All right.